Hello, 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 and welcome back, everybody. It has been a bit of a spell now, hasn't it? And for that, I have to apologize. Now, just because I have been a little bit of absent the last couple of months not making videos, doesn't mean I haven't been making progress. Now, not a ton of progress around here, but in my creative world, I did finally get things set out the way I wanted them to look. Um, when the castle is done, so I'll be working towards that. Which will, of course, mean that I will need to go and do some mining. Because I need some 117 blocks in order to finish my castle. Now, this world was generated in 116. So what that means is, in order to find some 117 blocks, I'm going to have to go to some chunks that haven't been loaded. And that could be a bit of a challenge because I did a lot of exploring when I was looking for this place to set up my castle. Also, I did make some progress in my industrial district, so I'm going to go ahead and head over there. But first, we're going to sleep through the night here because mobs and thingies like to spawn when it's nighttime. So we are going to go and show you what I did over in the industrial district. And I will see you guys when I get there. Well, you guys may notice a slight change here. I did get the pumpkin farm done, and it, of course, is sending all those pumpkins down into the bone meal farm. And if you recall why I wanted the bone meal farm, it was so I could build a tree farm, which has been completed. And I will say building this thing in survival was a bit of a pain in the butt, but I am glad that I did. And I'm losing some, ah, from my farm up there. I also did oops, much more storage for this farm because as you can see it produces quite a bit. Uh, I did empty this out right before I built all this but yeah okay. There's all the bamboo. Where's all the sugar cane? Can't tell me I don't have any sugar cane yet. I got a little bit in there. A little bit in there. I didn't put a sorting system in on any of that, so I may have to dial back the amount of bamboo I have there and put more sugar cane, but we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, and outside that, I extended some of these things down. I do want to extend the iron farm down. I can get rid of all that glowstone now that I don't need the light for it, but yeah. And of course, you may have noticed the uh, billions and billions of glass and lava down below me here. This was quite the spell. All of these blocks should be lava source blocks, which took a ton of lava, a lot of trips to the nether. And um, I have to imagine I missed the odd block here, but yeah, this whole area is very well lit up now, and I don't have to worry about mobs spawning anymore. So with that, let's head back to the castle and get ready to head off and do some mining. All right, looks like we are more or less set up here. I got a bunch of empty shulker boxes here to store all my goodies. Oh, we need a couple more things still. And we need... Uh, no, it's in the first stack, I think. In one of these. This guy. We're going to want that guy. And, of course, we need stuff to activate it. So... Uh, can't remember exactly how much of those I need, but we'll just... We'll do that. And do I have a spare ender chest? I do. So we'll bring one of those, which means I can store some of this stuff when I build up the beacon. Before I go, though, there is one change around here that I did make. And that is this guy, the blacksmith. And as you can see, we got the, that would be for uh, fuel, that would be for items. That leads down to a... Um, super smelter below me and that's where the items come in now i built all that up and i don't think it's gonna stay where it is um i was gonna twin it off i never did um, largely because i don't think it's gonna stay there we're gonna have a platform see this platform up here in front of the castle is gonna wrap around and come all the way this way i think we're gonna stuff the blacksmith in underneath there along with some of the other working buildings. So this probably isn't going to stay here, but I did spend some time on it, so I thought I'd show it off to you guys anyways. Now, 
let's head off. We are going to go and see if I can find a chunk that hasn't been loaded. Ideally, I'll find a ravine or something. Uh, that way I don't have to dig all the way down to see if I can get to the 117 blocks. And I'll be able to just fly to the bottom of the ravine and dig a little bit to find out. So, I will see you when I have found a good mining area. Well, looky, looky, looky what we have over here. We do have a ravine here. Now, the question is, has this chunk been loaded before? And we're going to have to go down and find out. Okay, what layer are we on here? 22. All right, we can dig down. I didn't bring torches. I should have torches in my ender chest, though, so... And I'm looking for any 117 blocks at all. Deep Slater, something along those lines. It'd be really helpful. That's just gold. Is that raw gold? Okay, that's promising. Is that Deep Slate? That is Deep Slate. We have 117 blocks. Which means I can set up here and do a bunch of mining so we are going to set the beacon up and get to it so give me one second and uh i'll show you the setup here you know i really could have just looked at that block right there copper ore i didn't have to go all the way down that would have told me 117 blocks but i didn't see that on the approach so not the end of the world Alrighty, and activating the beacon and now we can mine nice and quickly. So we are going to set up our shulker boxes and our ender chest. And we'll put the ender chest right here. And the shulker boxes for deep slate. For copper. And for literally everything else. Two... There we go. And we're going to look to fill these up. And here we have the spoils from that mining session. So we got an absolute ton of coal, a few diamonds, a bunch of redstone, which is great because between the farm and the tree farm, my redstone supply is very much close to out. We got some iron, even though we didn't really need it. And then, of course, copper at the top. Not as much copper as I would have liked to get, but... It's copper nonetheless, and we'll see where we land with the fortune pick. So we're going to take the fortune pick, and we are going to head down it, and we will see how much we end up with. But before that, I think we're going to grab some chests, because I feel like we're going to need somewhere to store all that stuff. All right, there we go. The chests are all set up. Let's get up to the top and start mining our way down. Well, as you can see, the tower is gone, my pickaxe is repaired, and I have the levels from all the experience some of those ores dropped. So what did we end up with? Let's take a look. We got that much copper, we got a little bit of iron, 
We got a bunch of redstone, which again is awesome. Half stack of diamonds, over stack of lapis, and that much coal. So I wasn't mining for too long, maybe a few hours. So considering how long I was mining, I actually got quite a bit. Plus I got two full shulker boxes of deep slate, which is what I was primarily after. Well, that and copper. So that is good enough for now. Well, we are back here in the dungeon, and if you'll recall in my last video, I did ask you guys to try and guess what the subtle difference was, because there was a subtle difference in what the build looked like, and I'm going to show you what that was. When I first built the dungeon, I built it with everything directly against these walls. However, I moved everything in, and I'm going to show you why I did that. Because if you place a block, say, here, you end up with this pattern right here which I didn't want going around the walls. So I removed all of that and I moved it all in so that the walls looked the way I wanted. It was a bit of a pain in the butt, but the effect out here, it just, I feel it looks so much better. It was worth the hassle. And we need to sleep. And we are back here in the storage room because we got a couple of things to take care of. So, we have all of these chests that are full of just random stuff that I want to sort out here because I think we're going to leave these two unsorted. The rest of these are all going to have filters and we are going to start setting up the deep storage filters. So if you'll recall, I built the deep storage vault down below our feet here, which is 2200 double chests and... Ooh, there we go. <laughs> so I built all of this, and as you can see, I'm not using any of it as of yet because, well, there's no water streams hooked up. So we're going to have to hook up the water streams, and we're going to have to set up the filters, and we're going to have to start actually using this. And most of the stuff from my gold farm, I think, is going to end up coming down here, except for the stuff that I'm going to use regularly. But we need to start setting up the filters and get that set up so i am going to work on that and i will see you guys when that is done and there we have it the deep storage vault is all hooked up and working normally everything is working fine with exactly zero problems well maybe not still have the issue of the random item ending up in here that itself is actually fairly fix fairly minor uh, I was going to say fairly fixable, but I'm not sure what's causing it, so not really fixable, but it is somewhat minor. However, I have a little bit of another issue. And to show you the issue, i got to go down into my deep storage vault. Uh, so I didn't set filters through the whole thing here, and where is it? As you can see, a bunch of unsorted items are finding their way into here into these chests here and that is not exactly ideal so and I don't have two filters on there so that's obviously going to be an issue that I'm gonna have to fix but that probably means I'm gonna have to completely redo the filter filter system up here that sends it down to the deep storage vault so that's going to wait for another day. Instead, I want to get started on the trim work and start making this castle look a little bit more like a, a castle. So I'm going to dive into that, and I think we know what that means. It's time for a time lapse. So I'm going to dive into it, and let's see how it goes.
And there we have it. We have most of the trim around the outside done here. These pillars here are going to go all the way down, but I'll take care of that all the way around when I'm building this platform that goes around. As you guys can also see, I have some Royal Guards now. Now, some of them still need some gear, but we are working on that. So, we're going to have these guards kind of stationed throughout the whole castle. However, most of them are going to be iron. But, of course, the Royal Guards, they are going to be clad out in diamonds. So, just going to get a bit of view and show you how this looks here. I'm liking it. And there are going to be, there's going to be a stairwell that goes down from this side here. So we're going to knock out some of these and build that stairwell down when we build the pathway around, all the way around. And there's going to be some, obviously the towers are going to be built up. And there's quite a bit of work left to do here. But for now, what I want to do... Remember when I built this eyesore? And I told you guys that it wasn't going to be permanent, that I was going to come up with a, a far better solution? Well, I think I have a solution and it's going to start by knocking this wall out two more blocks so I have a little bit more room to work. And then, of course, we're going to hide all the redstone down under here. So I'm going to get started on that and I'll show you what that looks like when we are done. And down came the ugly eyesore. And our new closet is, I'm going to say, done. Not thrilled with the design I may put it a little bit but it is far less of an eyesore and takes up far less room so for now it is done so i'll show you guys here we have an observer here might be hard for you guys to make out especially on youtube but there is a bit of string there so when you jump on that it updates the observer and then i'll come down here and show you the redstone underneath that updated observer sends a signal through a couple of observers down to this one which powers this sticky piston creating this hopper clock which powers this block which powers the dispenser up top uh, repeatedly that dispenses all the items and puts them on for me and then when you get off that bit of string it updates again it pulls that observer back and shuts the system off so it is working fine the only thing i don't like is because the hitbox of the string takes up the full block. I can't actually reach the dispenser from up top. So I would have to come down here and break back in through here once I close that up to restock this system. So a little bit unfortunate, but not the end of the world because it's not the kind of thing I'm going to be using every day anyway. So I will go ahead and close that up and... I did also, I did move this wall back two blocks, and I moved the bed back one block, uh, just so we're off the wall just a little bit. And I had full solid blocks here, I swapped those out for stairs to make a nice gentler arch, so that won't be all the changes I do. Uh, I do want to do something with this open area now, not sure what that's going to be, but for now it is fine. So with that little problem done and out of the way we are going to head off over to my industrial district because i built up my tree farm but i haven't really used it outside of a couple minutes just to test the system and make sure everything was working so we're going to go ahead and do that and while i'm running it i am going to use the replay mod to record it so that you guys can see how it works from a nice bird's eye view and i'm sure you guys will enjoy watching that go boom so I'm going to do that, and after I run that for a little bit, I will be back. Well, as you guys saw in that replay, TNT broke my tree farm here. I, however, did not notice until it backed all the way up, which means I broke my tree farm on this side too while everything backed up. So, that is a little bit unfortunate. And if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go myself off a mountain now. Well, 
Goodbye, cruel world. Okay, okay. Maybe I was being a little bit melodramatic there, but that is still very annoying. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get back to fixing that. But I do believe that will be where I should end the video today. So, thank you guys for coming out and watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.